Yannick Curvediva is in shock after finding out that Slick Yana was K I L L E D. You understand me? I say, of course, you don't know, so they did find our body in a um, reading in St. James. You understand me? I say, my people, very, very sad news. A lot of persons on social media is reacting to it right about now. But also, we see some more information come out saying that she actually went on a date with a man last night and things. So, I hope so I get some good leads as to who is responsible for this. You understand? If anybody have any information, you we'll definitely need to do the right thing. You understand what I'm saying, my people? So, we're we'll going to talk about that. And also, we're we'll going to talk about Lisa Hyper going live on Instagram and letting the people them know that somebody has tried to take her life. You understand what I'm saying, my people? What is really going on, Star? Of course, you don't know. People are react to it and me see a lot of women and say, boy, it seem like them have to go boycott men now and all these things. So I don't know, but I'm going to tell you now what I go on as it relates to Lisa Hyper and thing and thing. You see it, my people? And also, we're going to talk about dancehall artists squash and some information where we see a surface on the internet where they might talk about, say, you know, money I get placed upon the, the artist's head and all them type of thing. So, you don't know people with us there for me to know certain information and who can be the judge of it or who can tell me where anything about all of this. You understand? As well as we're going to talk about Chanel Muir, former manager, who is now saying that no payments were missed. And you don't know, see, this has come after Chanel Muir basically said that, you know, she was robbed by her former manager, Richie Flores and stuff. So you don't know what to talk about that. And only can tell me anything about this. You know, man, some people. So before I go further into the topics, though, make sure you subscribe if you don't subscribe. Click the notification bell for all. That way, you can get notified when I post a new video. You understand, people? So the first thing we're going to talk about is some breaking news, or where I say, as it relates to Lisa Hyper and thing. You understand, man, some people. And I never catch the Instagram live, but it seemed like somebody catch it and maybe she ended so fast that she only could have said, yo, I need you know, to contact the police them to give me some help or some assistance or whatever. A lot of persons over pink wall right now, they attack the JCF because you don't know as it relates to a female saying that she needs some help quick and fast. You have to work fast. This is not a time for joke around and for laugh around and them things. So people in the comment section over pink Pinkwall attack JCF like crazy. You understand what I mean? So this post was actually sent in Zane and it said, Pinky, Lisa Hyper just went live saying the person she's with is trying to K-I-L-L -L her and no help from the police. She says she there Stony Hill, Brooks Level Road and people should try to get to Miguel and them said the live ended. Now the person has said, hide my ID, emergency and thing. So, I don't know if it ends because the person probably are forward and you don't know. I don't know people about it. Obviously, it's a reason why they, she ended the life quick and fast. I actually go over there for look if I could have find it and thing, but you don't know. Look like she never saved it and thing. You understand what I'm saying? And as I say, all the people right now are contact the, J, the JCF. All the people are tag them for Lisa Hype and I tell them, say, them need to go get to work and thing and thing. Because when somebody basically say, yo, them need help, you have to move fast, people. Right now we in a time where we can't joke around, we can't take certain things lightly. You understand if a man there with a woman and he might do her certain things, action have to be taken instantly because if you wait too long, you never can tell what might what might happen. You understand me some more people so that is what's taking place as it relates to Lisa Hype. So when you can tell more anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Yanni Curvy Diva reacting to the news as it relates to Slicky Yana. And people, I don't know how much I want to see the videos them, but me am telling you, say, yo, after seeing them video there, I don't know how people can be so heartless and cruel and all them type of thing. They trust me upon that. If you now see the video, then you're not supposed to understand why I just say what I say. You understand what I say, my people, but... Well, I'll get to the post right about now, Zane. So Yanni Curvy Diva posts up a couple of photos with Slicky Yana upon her Instagram page and she said, Three days ago, I just saw you three days ago when you came by the restaurant with your mom for her birthday. We were laughing because I wanted you to try something other than the stuffed lobster, which was your favorite. To know that the last pic you posted was at the restaurant and you will never dine with us again hurts my heart. Rest in peace. I still can't believe. You understand how I say people? So, you know, oh, and she also put forever my loyal customer. You see, my people, so definitely a sad situation. I'm not going around you. And, you know, this definitely touched Yanni because she see her just three days ago. 
You see what man say, people? So, should I see her about what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. At the time I'm doing this video, which is Friday, you don't know Yannick could have seen her like the Tuesday and stuff like that. So, I'm going to move on to a post that was made over by Pinkwall. Zin, my people. And basically, it's like, I guess somebody sending some information as to um, allegedly where Slicky Anna went yesterday, who she was with, and stuff like that. So, you don't know. They have to follow every lead so they can follow for find out who is responsible for this horrible situation anyway so the post is saying the police already have a theory as to what led up to the taking out of miss townsend after having dinner last night off waterloo road she was said to have taken the nutsford express to Mobe. witnesses say that her body was discarded in the sea earlier this morning and there is a link between her and the gentleman she met up with i will post more when i have more credible information so what am i for do my people zine Wherever she went last night and have dinner off Waterloo, Zine, I'm pretty sure that restaurant, they must have video footage, even though they don't call the restaurant name, but they probably know which part she go. You understand? Maybe the, the, the place where she go, probably, you know, make a call and say she was here with such and such a gentleman. So they probably have like camera footage and them thing there. So hopefully all of that come into play and then them can find out who responsible for this. You understand what I'm saying, more people, so... You know, I hope we get some updates, some more information as it relates to that. But that's what we have right about now. She go out with a man last night. I'm going to say allegedly seen people because they don't know that's the right thing for them. And I guess they're going to have dinner and whatever, whatever the person. But what I say still, Zine, the person where she meet up with, if them say she take the nuts for the express back to Mobile, oh, maybe the person live at Kingston. I don't know, people. That's a story. It never makes sense. Me try to crack my head on it. The officers, them will know what they need for do, and them will just find out what they need for find out. You understand? So, only can make me know when you think about this in the comment section. So, before me go to the Chanel Muir topic, Zine, my people, me say something as it relates to squash or a story about squash. And basically, it's like they must say money upon the entertainer head. You understand what I mean? Which is one of the reasons why. You know, the, the whole situation happened. You understand me and some people. So, I will get to a post. And this post here, people, obviously it is not any confirmed news. You understand? I just I read something that is out there upon the internet where people are talking about. So, I just I share it. And only can give you no opinion if you know, think a it go or whatever it may be. But you don't know the thing. So, anyway, it's a... Now, Squash mother bury four son already from the six. So, Squash one and him brother left. Four son in mother bury? Damn. Them say muscle man can't squash Monday and Ford Lord and muscle man a friend. J man, Ray and Fred man follow Ford Lord go upon the ends. As a Ford Lord get can. But them say money they pan squash him and Ford Lord never do the job. Him never do the job. Him did a play with the thing. At this right there. Yeah, see, my people, so as I say, we don't really know, me just I tell you know where they're out upon the internet. You understand? Me don't know none of the entertainers, them. And obviously, you know, sometimes the streets get things before um, it come out in an article. Or, you understand? Sometimes people know somebody will know something and it, it just go around like that. You understand what I say? You know, at the end of the day, still, me see some people I say, boy, everywhere the Jamaican them go with them behavior and you know, them, them, them just go certain places and them can't keep themselves to themselves and thing and thing. You understand what I mean, some of people? And based on the story where they post um, on the Jamaica Observer, you know, they must say basically uh, some gang thing are going, some gang war and them thing. They understand? Like, say, it's a lead from things in a Jamaica and it spread overseas and the man them still continue them thing. You understand? That's what I hear, so... I don't know, people, but only can tell me where you believe or not in the comment section. You understand? So, you don't know. Well, I'll keep it moving now to the Chanel Muir situation right about now. So, you don't know, say our um, farmer manager actually speak out now. So, let us get into it right away. So, it said, no payments were missed. Chanel Muir farmer manager responds to the accusations. Richie Flores of Rebel Ace Music Limited, the farmer manager of Chanel Muir, is pushing back against accusations leveled against him by the dancer songstress last Sunday in a very emotional Instagram live stream 
the Yamabella hitmaker accused Flores of mismanaging her finances subsequent to them severing ties and her departing the secular world of dancehall. However, on Thursday in an Instagram live, he spoke out and gave his account on the events asserting that the reported accusation by the singer are false and without merit. Mr. Richie Flores explained that his managerial services were terminated on October the 10th by Muir via a written notice. On October the 13th, he was advised by his accountant of an oversight on the books and the approximate amount of 4,300 US was paid over to the artist as the final payment owed. All other monies he kept, 30% were for managerial, 20% on booking services and 10% rendered. Flores further declared that during his 11 months stint with Chanel Muir, no payments were missed and everything was up to date. Addressing her request for all payments to be forthcoming to her, after which she would have paid him, he noted that the request was unorthodox as managers generally collect all monies and compensate the artist thereafter. According to Richie, this is recommended. This is the recommended practice as a manager in the event that the artist misses a flight or show. The funds are available to purchase another ticket or refund the promoters, among other incidents. You understand our incidentals, I should I say. So, you don't know people, him basically I give him account of this whole situation. And I don't really know what's going to happen if Chanel Muir, you know, if him, he must say him not money for her basically people and she has say him who are money and stuff like that. So, I don't know if this thing is going to be hashed out or squashed out or whatever it may be. Is it so? What for what chance? Is you see me? Chanel Muir, he, you know, she actually make a statement to say, you look, you know, him can keep everything. She has moved for her life in a different direction now and thing and thing. You see what I say, more people. So, you know, obviously the entertainer is overwhelmed with all of the things that she has go through right about now. You know, both um, medical, medical wise, um, I guess emotional, all of the things them which I have got through it just to take a toll on her and thing. And stress are one of them things that we definitely will mess you up, you know. You understand, people? That's why people for try and be as stress free as much as possible. Sometimes it's hard for doing you know, because you can't stop your mind from thinking, but you don't know. You have to just pray and just remain as optimistic as much as possible. You understand what I say? So, big up to the entertainer. You don't know Chanel. You know, any direction you take, you have people who are going to support you no matter what. You see it. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.